Hey, it's Colleen from Seller Spy. I'm here to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of the new title analyzer tool. And the way I'm gonna go about it is I'm going to create a product from scratch and show you exactly the steps I take to post that um, with the best title and description that I can muster up. So um, stay tuned. If you wanna see more tutorials like this, just make sure you subscribe. I'll be posting more as I grow my stores. Okay, so let's jump into the tutorial. We're gonna start going right into seller spy that's that's where i usually start all my product creation because i want to make sure before i create a product that it's a product that someone is looking for okay and that all starts with keyword research so what i'm going to do is i'm going to log in and i'm going to start with the keyword generator which is our free tool and one of the best tools in the seller spy suite of tools so let's do that my idea is just to create some bookmarks for my store um not sure if whether it's gonna be a free or paid product yet. We'll see how many we can create, but I wanna do some keyword research before I create anything. So I'm gonna head over to Keyword Generator. First thing I'm gonna do is, um, let's see, if I do religious bookmark, oops. All right, religious bookmark, let's see what comes up. Spring, 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 summer editable, coloring, spring editable. Um, let's see, Christian bookmark. I'm just going to do some, a, a few different Christian bulletin board, bookmark, 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 book. Hmm. Seems like I can't get what I want here, but that doesn't mean that the, it's never been popular in the, over the course of the past year. So what I'm going to do is I'm now I'm going to go to my keyword explorer. And if you don't know what that is, the keyword explorer is our database of keywords. It's got, I think we're at 51,000 and it just grows by usually about a thousand every month. So I'm gonna search here for um, bookmark first, and this is gonna filter any keyword in our database that includes bookmark. And you can kind of see how many we got. Oops, that's nice. That's a nice, <laughs> that's a lot of bookmarks. Um, but also you can see that not every, not every keyword is a great one to target. They might not be very popular. Um, but what I'm trying to do is look for very specific bookmarks. Um, and also I try to identify some maybe secondary or tertiary keywords that maybe I can use. All right, so let's take a look. I'm now gonna type in Christian bookmark, see if anything pops up. Nope, let's do Catholic. Oh, I got a good idea, Bible. Nothing. I did not find any keywords. That's kind of tough. Um, but what I'm going to try, I'm gonna try one last thing. I'm gonna to go to my keyword insights tool. If you don't see a keyword in Keyword Explorer or Keyword Generator, it doesn't mean that people aren't looking for it, right? It just means that it might not have shown up in a, in a, in a, in the search bar. It might not have shown up in the suggestions bar. Um, it doesn't mean that it's not a good keyword. So. That's why the keyword insights tool is very helpful. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna put Bible verse bookmark. That's a, uh, it's one of the, my ideas. One of them is gonna be about Bible verses. So I'm gonna hit search and it's going to give me a whole bunch of data. Okay, 290 listings. That is definitely good. It means that we can probably rank on the first page if we optimized properly. But there's only an average of four ratings per item, which means that it's not very popular. We're not seeing a lot of volume um, in sales because you can only rate something if you buy it, right? Average price around $4. That seems pretty high for bookmarks. So we might be able to do something and uh, to come in a little bit lower. Okay. Now we come down here and we're gonna see what other keywords people are using in their titles. So we have bookmarks, Bible, coloring. So coloring bookmarks is definitely something we can do. Maybe Bible verse, coloring bookmarks. Bible verse, Bible verses. Uh, we have Christmas, Valentine, love, Psalms. Now Psalms looks like it's a great option to add. And that's because I see the seller spy score and it's got a seller spy score of 75. Okay, it's not in a ton of these, but um, and it's not in a ton of the listings below, but it's a great keyword because it's low competition. 
All right, and let's go, now I'm, I'm actually gonna look that up Psalms later. So I'm going to see, I'm actually going to write down Psalms because that's something, if I know it's a great keyword, I might be able to create an entire product line around Psalms and knowing that all of them will likely get some traffic some views and hopefully some sales. All right, so I'm gonna bookmark that or not bookmark it, save it for later. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right, so even though there's an average of four ratings, you do see a bunch of ratings on every single one of these. Bible verse and Christian encouragement bookmarks, be kind Bible verse coloring. Um, I kind of like the idea of coloring bookmarks Coloring bookmarks, I'm writing these down, coloring bookmarks. Now, something to keep in mind, all of these keywords in this area, this, this popular keywords to use in titles, these are the popular TPT keywords. These are the ones that have shown up in the TPT search bar at some point. So you wanna make sure that you include some of these. So I'm gonna do coloring bookmarks, Psalms, Hmm. Bible verse, right? And Christian, oh wait, Christian? Yeah, Christian. I might put Catholic too. We'll see, okay. So those are the ones I am going to highlight. So I'm just gonna make a list, bookmarks, Psalms, Bible verse, those verses, and Christian or Catholic. Okay, so these are kind of my ideas for this product. So we're going to create some coloring bookmarks. Um, they're going to have some Bible verses, which are going to be Psalms, and then things that they can that kids can color in. Um, some of you know, and then if we need more keywords after that, or um, we can always come back and add more, but these, I think this is a good starting point. Okay. So we're going with coloring bookmarks, Psalms, Bible verses or Bible verse, Christian or Catholic. I'm going to, before I create my product, before I create this product, I'm going to see, I'm going to go over to that title analyzer and I'm going to see how well the, this combination of keywords, um, comes out in a potential title. So let's go over there, title analyzer. All right, so this is gonna be a Christian uh, Bible verse. I'm gonna put coloring bookmarks and then I'm gonna go Psalms. Uh, Psalms activity. At, you know, sometimes activity didn't show up, but this is, so sometimes you'll think of a word like activity. It didn't show up on that other one, I don't think. No, oh, did it show up on Keyword Insights? Let's see. It did, okay, cool. So activity did show up. So adding activity, I think is a good, um, it's a good option. So activity. So already here you in while I'm crafting that title, you can see that I'm at 58 characters out of 80. I got I got space, all right? So, I'm going to add uh Catholic bookmark. I'm going to leave this as my first run and let's go. All right. So, it's running. You're going to see a progress bar here. So you don't really want to do too much or read too much into these action items until this loads all the way. Um, you will have different sections. So this is the action item. So at the end, when this hits 100%, you, you're going to want to come to your action items and see what the suggestion is. The next section is the analysis section. And this is where we take all the keywords that we find from your title that you entered. And we bucket them between high, moderate, and low competition. And this is really where you're gonna 
want to pay attention. You're going to want to make adjustments to make sure that you have a nice mix between these three, but without you know, having too many high competition and not enough low. So right now this is loading. We have seven moderate, one low. Okay, it's almost done. And I'm gonna scroll down. And this is also another important section where we have our keyword breakdown. We have what we're currently optimized for as well as some additional keywords. Your additional keywords are other keywords that we found using combinations of the words that you used in your title. So these are all the ones that match exactly. So like, you, like we put in there, coloring bookmarks, Bible verse, Christian bookmarks, activity, Catholic coloring, but coloring activity and bookmark coloring are two that are good options. And bookmark coloring is highlighted in green. So that means it's low competition and it's something that we should be really looking for. Okay, I'm, go I'm totally gonna do bookmark coloring. So up here, Let's make sure that we're done, yep. And let's look at our action items. Try adding a resource type, try adding a grade level, try adding a subject. So these are some good options. We know we want to add bookmark coloring. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove Christian, Catholic bookmark coloring. So I'm adding bookmark coloring. Let's see, we only have three sections left. Hmm. This is where obviously the suggestions are resource type, grade level, and subject, right? These are suggestions. If I feel, or if you feel as you're going through this exercise, that this mix of keywords is better than the ones if you added grade level or a subject or a resource, then, then you make that decision. You can ignore these. I mean, these are these don't apply to every single thing. Some um, some products are not grade specific. They're not subject specific, and that's okay. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So now that I've made this change, I'm gonna run it again. Okay. So different, a few different ones, not a ton. I should have written this down, but there were ten keywords found on the other one. And it was, I think it was one, seven, two or something like that. Let's see what we got now. Actually, I think it was one, eight, one. And now we're at 10. Let's see where we're at. All right, it's 100%. We're at 10. We're at one, seven. Now we're at one, seven, two. So that's a good example of how adjusting some keywords will help increase your, your uh, low competition percentage. Let's see, does it tell us? Yeah, and that, that action item was removed. Okay, I'm gonna, you know what, I, I'm gonna copy these to, the first one was Christian Bible verse Catholic bookmark. That was the first one. Okay, this is the second one. What do we think? Do we think, let's, let's remove Catholic, uh, let's use, instead of Catholic, what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna add a grade level. And the ones I want, I think this is gonna be like first and second grade. So I think that's what I'm gonna try for. I'm gonna try uh, second grade bookmark coloring. All right, we're gonna hit run. I'm gonna copy this over to my handy notepad. All right, so we're using 78 out of 80. Now we have a grade level, so you can see that we have second grade in there. All right, let's look at our keywords that are populating now. Okay. So 
now that this is finished, now we have 12 recognized keywords. Three are highly competitive, seven moderate, and two low competition. The two low competition are the same too, but now we've added some additional super high competition ones. And so now this is a judgment call, right? So we've we've switched out Catholic for second grade. Um, we really need to make sure, you know, now we have to think about our, our buyer. What are they searching? Um, are they more likely to search second grade if they're looking for our product or are they more likely to add Catholic? I have a feeling it's Catholic. So even though, well, well for, my, for my product, even though this says 12 keywords, those additional two keywords that we added were high, high competition, second and second grade, right? Those were the, the new ones. If the keyword I added was one of these mo in moderate or low, I would probably would have gone that way. But since they're super highly competitive, my little Bible verse bookmarks aren't going to show up if you're searching for second grade. They're just not. So I'm not even going to try to optimize for that. I'm going to go for something that's a little bit um, more guaranteed, and that would be Catholic. So that means that I'm going with this one as the winner. The Bible verse coloring bookmarks, Psalms activity, Catholic bookmark coloring. All right. So that's what we're going for. And that's what I'm making my product around. And let me go make those right now. And I'll be back to show you the rest. Okay, so I spent some time and I, I created eight bookmarks. Um, all have different Psalms on them, and this is what they look like. Uh, I need to kind of package it up with more of my branding and, and um, some instructions on how to print and stuff. But once I'm done with that, I'm going to write a description and post it. I still need to make my cover image and thumbnails, um, as well as write the description. So I'm going to do that now. Um, and I'm actually going to make a second video showing you the description writing process. I think, I think it would be really helpful to everyone to really talk about, um, just different sections you can add, um, how to utilize links and keywords, um, and formatting. So stay tuned to, for a new video on that. But in the meantime, I hope the tutorial of the new title analyzer tool was helpful. And you can always email me, um, send me a comment on these videos, and you can find me in my Instagram channel, which is Seller Spy Co. Um, and I, I'd love to help you out. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll be posting more step-by-steps and case studies, income reports, and all that good stuff in the coming weeks.